So we are going to be doing a date night type of look. So I'm doing this with Valentine's Day in mind since it's right around the corner. Um, so when I think of a date night look, I think of a, a little bit more on the glamour side, um, especially if you're going somewhere that is a little bit more dim lighting, you're going to want something a little bit more dramatic on the face to stand out in that kind of light. And I want this, whoever's watching this, I want you to be able to purchase these things if you're interested in it. Um, so a lot of my pro products and airbrushing um, might be a little bit more difficult for the average consumer to find. So I am going to use things that are easily accessible and I will not be airbrushing my face. So I have nothing on my face right now, starting with a blank canvas. I have a makeup wipe right here. I'm just gonna run this over to make sure that I absolutely have nothing on because I want to get everything off um, and start from nothing. So my skin is clean. I am going to go in with an exfoliator next. And one of my favorite personal exfoliators I have been using is Pixie Beauty the Glow Tonic. And you can get this in a bottle, I'll put it on a, a cotton round, or you can get in the to go, which is pre. Um, moistened little rounds like that. So reason why I love Pixie's Beauty um, Glow Tonic is because it is glycolic acid. And glycolic acid is a really good exfoliator for the skin. Next I'm going to go in with my serum, my all time favorite serums. Um, are ones that either help brighten because I do have darkness or ones that help hydrate because I find I'm more normal to dry, normal to dehydrated skin type. So this is my favorite. It is Replenix um, Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So I'm going to take a little droplet and put on my finger just like that. Hyaluronic Acid, what it does, it goes into the skin and it retains a thousand times itself in water, in hydration. So like I was saying, being I'm more normal to dry, normal to dehydrated skin type, this is great to put on before moisturizer just to kind of suck in all of that moisture from my skin. And you want to feel that tackiness on your skin. That's a, that's a good, good sign that you're prepping it the right way. Now I'm going to go on with the moisturizer. I am liking Dr. Color Effect the Red Cream, and it's a rejuvenates, rejuvenates skin with Million Damashun Roses. I am butchering that right now. Um, so it is made with roses, real roses. It feels that like that silkiness of a rose petal, and it smells like I just got a dozen fresh roses. That's so good. All right, so I'm going to go in. A little bit of this goes a long way, so I always scoop a little bit out of my fingernail, and I'm going to rub that in. And this is kind of like a gel-like consistency, which is really good for us dehydrated skin types out there. Next, I go in with my favorite eye cream. And my favorite eye cream right now is Revision Skincare, the DEJ advanced all-in-one age-defined treatment for the eyes. That's a mouthful. So you, the best way to put on eye cream is with your ring fingers. So I'm gonna do a tiny, tiny little pea-sized amount on my ring finger. And I rub that together and then place that right under my eyes. Perfect. So this is my prepped skin. And like I was saying, you really wanna feel that tackiness feeling. That's how you know the makeup's really gonna stick to it. And um, little secret from a pro makeup artist, primers, you don't really need them. They are, it's very rare that a person actually needs a primer. It's for a very specific skin concern, skin type, skin textures. And a lot of the times, if your skin is prepped right, you will not need a primer. A lot of foundations nowadays have primers built into them. And if you ever read that it, a foundation is, um, it lasts for eight hours, it lasts for 12 hours, or maybe 16 hours, that, those studies and that testing is done on skin without primer. So just a little fun fact that just putting another layer um, under that foundation, it might actually cut down the wear time of that foundation. So as long as your skin is nice and prepped, with good skincare and a good regimen that works for you and has that nice tacky feeling, you're not gonna need that primer. So 
I like how my skin feels. So let's move on to makeup. So we're super close to my eyes right now, so you can see closer up that I have this darkness around my eyes, just naturally. I just naturally have discoloration. So that's gonna be my main concern um, when we go into color correcting and uh, foundation and things like that. But let's get these eyes started. So first one I'm gonna go in with is I'm gonna go in with Max uh, Paint Pot in Painterly. This is one of my favorite things to, um, to uh, prime with and it works really, really well being creamy, um, so it's not super, super sticky, and it just holds down the uh, eyeshadow really good. All right, so let's go in with a little bit of that Painterly MAC Paint Pot. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite Palettes. Now it's not really a palette, it's a stack from Melt Cosmetics. And it's a full stack. We have uh, four eyeshadows in here, all of the neutral colors, and this is called the Dark Matter Stack. And it's really nice because right here, the top one, we have a mirror, and then we have a light tan a darker brown, a wine burgundy, and then a black. So this is a really good basic stack to have in your collection. I'm gonna go with this top beige color first to kind of set that primer that I did and also create any kind of transition that I need um, for future blending. So I'm not really being too neat with them, just putting it everywhere because this is just the first color that I'm putting down. Next, I'm gonna go in with that brown color from the Dark Matter stack. And I'm gonna be a little bit more concentrated in this crease area with that. I'm gonna go in for a lid color. Now this palette from Makeup Forever, I've had it literally forever. It is the Artist Palette 9 Artist Shadow palette and you see it has the nine colors in there and, and this middle one and this brown bronzy ones are beautiful they're my favorite so I'm actually gonna go in with this middle tone right now and I like to use this with my fingertips so I'm gonna go in swirl that around a little bit Look how pretty that is. I'm gonna go back in with that Sigma brush into this bronzy color. And I'm just gonna deepen this outer corner into the crease a little bit more. So my favorite way of doing eyeliner is actually doing smoky liner first with eyeshadow and then going in with a gel pencil or a liquid. So I'm actually going to use the black in this palette. I'll put that on starting with the outside corner. So we have the black eyeshadow laid down. I want to smudge this a little bit more. So I'm actually going to use my pinky finger in that bronze. So I'm going to use a little bit of my pinky finger. Then I'm going to just smudge this out with a little bit of that bronze. Now I'm going to go with the Marc Jacobs Liquid Eyeliner. Now when I'm putting this liquid eyeliner on, I'm not having it as thick as that black shadow, I'm actually having it thinner than the black eyeshadow, so it gives it more of like that smoky liner effect. And I'm having it really tight along the lash line. So my eyes are done, let's do the skin. So we already prepped with, um, with our skin prep, so what I do first is I'm gonna do a little bit of foundation. Now I want the foundation to be really really sheer in terms of application. So even as a full coverage foundation, I want to apply it not thick because I'm still going to use a concealer and the concealer is going to do most of the work 
as um, for coverage that I need. So this is what I'm using right now, it's the NARS. So what I do is I actually, I actually apply this to my fingertips because I want that thin, sheer, natural application. So I'm gonna take a little bit onto my fingers. So what I do is I do like one little pump a maybe a pump and a half like that. And then I'm gonna rub my hands together and apply it with my fingertips. So after the foundation is put on in a nice, sheer, natural way, um, I go in with concealer next. And the concealer that I'm really, really loving right now is L'Oreal Infallible uh, Full Wear. And this is the color Bisque. And I just go under the eyes like this. Anywhere where I say I get that discoloration mostly. So as you can tell, I want the I want the concealer to do most of the work in terms of coverage. The foundation is just laying down that foundation for me, and it's gonna be a very natural, sheer foundation. So I'm going in with a beauty blender that has been dampened, and just now I am marrying the two together, the concealer to the foundation. Uh, at this point, you have an option. You can either go in with your highlight and contour next, or you can set everything. So I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit of a contour before setting. So what I like for contouring right now is this little mini hula bronzer. And I love this little mini size because I travel a lot, I pack my makeup a lot, so I like that this is super convenient for me. And I'm gonna go in with a kind of a dual fiber brush, get a little bit of that on, tap off the excess, and I'm just gonna start under my cheekbone. I have a lot of open skin right here, so I like to give that a little deepening. So you don't want to see any harsh lines. If you do, go back in with your beauty blender and just pat it out a little bit. You really want this, for the most part, to be undetectable. Like, you know there's a darker product there, but you don't want to see the line. Because ultimately what this is doing is creating shadows on your face. For under my eyes, I love the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Now, because I do travel a lot, like I was saying, I don't typically carry a loose powder in my bag. I have the Laura Mercier, um, the pressed powder in translucent. And I, I need a new one. It comes with like a little powder puff. I'm gonna take a little bit of that powder puff onto the product, a little bit. And I'm just pressing that under my eyes to set the concealer under my eyes. Now I'm not baking. I don't bake. Um, but I do like to press in the powder. I'm only using a small amount where I, I don't really need to wipe off any extra. Now I'm going to set the rest of my face with Maybelline's Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. So I'm going to take a little bit on a kombuki. And I'm just gonna tap into the rest of my face. So I have been loving, like obsessed with um, this Benefit highlighter. This Benefit Dandelion Twinkle highlighter. I have been obsessed with this. Can't get enough, love using it. I have this old Bare Minerals brush this blending brush, I'm pretty sure it was for their old um, mineral concealer. And I use this for this highlighter and it, it works for me pretty well. So I'm gonna go in to this and I'm just gonna place it, oh God, on the high points of my cheeks. And I go in with my favorite blush ever. Like, I don't think I'm ever gonna use another blush in the history of time. It is my NARS. Da 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 da. Can you guess the color? Orgasm. I love 
everything orgasm from NARS. It is the best. Put a little bit on my brush that I have here, tap off the excess, and really focus it on the apples of my cheek, but really bring it up too. You can even bounce it to get a little bit more color put on there. Let's do this other side. Let's go back to the eye. We're nice and close to the eyes now, so we're gonna finish off these eyes and we are gonna do the brows. So I'm gonna go in with my MAC Deep Brunette Velux Brow Liner. That's this guy. This is a powder-based pencil, so it just creates the perfect fill-in that I like. I always like to set my brows with a brow gel, and I have literally used this. It's basically empty. It is Senna. <laughs> Look at this. This is pathetic. I have probably like two more uses out of this. So I'm going to use this little waterproof black pencil that I have and I honestly don't even know where I got it but it works well so I'm happy uh, I'm gonna bring it a little bit under the lashes because I'm probably gonna wind up smudging it a tiny bit I'm gonna take this little no-name brush that I've had for eons and I have it doesn't even have any writing on it and I'm gonna dip into that bronze color that we did on our eyes and then just lightly smudge out that outer corner. All right, now I'm gonna do my lashes. Now my favorite mascara of like all time is Chanel Le Value. It's my favorite but it does exactly what it says. It's going to create volume, not really any length. So if you need more length than volume, this might not be good for you. I like to look down into a mirror when doing my lashes, starting from the base of my lash and bringing it out to the tip of the lash for my first coat. And I'm gonna do the bottom lashes, of course. All right, so that, that's the eyes. I'm liking it. I think this is a really cute little eye look going on. Could go with almost any outfit, too. So next, I gotta do my lips, and yeah, stay tuned. All right, so my face is pretty much done. All I gotta do is my lips. So, just because of my eyes being a little bit more on the smokier side, um, and my cheeks being really defined, I think if I did like a really bright lip, a statement lip, it might be competing a little too much. So I'm gonna go with a more neutral lip. Um, so let me just zoom you guys in for my lips. So I'm gonna go in with Max Spice Liner. Now I just rub that together, kind of to like blend it a little bit. I'm gonna go in with the lipstick on top. I am using Max Myth. Mac Myth color. So this is the final look. I had so much fun doing this. This was actually like my first time filming a whole makeup application start to finish on an actual camera. I'm excited to do more. Uh, if you guys want to see any kind of specific looks or any, you know, individual how-tos for certain features or skincare or anything like that, I would love to hear your suggestions. Um, I hope this inspired you. I hope you pulled something from this that you want to try. I'd love to see what you do. Um, please, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My email is info at jasmineray.com. Uh, please give us a follow on Instagram. We are at jasmineray underscore co. Um, yeah, so and if you have any questions, reach out to me. I look forward to filming one of these again. I have a lot of fun. All right, see you soon.